take this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome everybody to Dundalk. Uh, my name is Andrew McFarlane, and I'm uh, the centre manager here for Casala in Dundalk Institute of Technology. I'd like to welcome to our symposium, Collaborative Networks in Ambient Assisted Living and Connected Health. Our symposium, we primarily made it, you know, very much about indigenous uh, sector across the island of Ireland, you know, in, in terms of looking at the indigenous companies here and, you know, how can we make a difference in these areas. Why are we here? Why are we talking about um, telemedicine? Well, we have a lot of patients who need something. Now, one of the key goals of Kasala, for those who don't know, is uh, delivering the technical innovations that enable older people to remain in their homes of choice for as long as they choose. We're uh, an ICT group and I'm going to talk about some of the technologies that we have. And these will be quite mature technologies now coming out of research. So I think housing that is accessible, it's hugely important uh, for particularly assistant living, if you were to embed any technologies, you need the housing to be able to take people who have specific needs. It's a little stick-on band-aid, uh, very low cost. That particular image has the batteries of the device in the band-aid. So at Robert Bosch, we've um, been working in telehealth for quite a while. We've connected over 150,000 patients worldwide over the last 10 years. We're trying to have an impact. We're trying to make sure that we can translate the research into actual systems, devices and products being used. The vast majority of Global Start projects that we get tend to come from the life sciences sector or ICT and both life sciences and ICT have a, a major effect in terms of developing the connected health markets. We're an agency, a government agency, we advise the Department of Enterprise, Trade and Innovation. We know that there is a need for um, research. Some of the studies already have shown quite positive effects in terms of um, fewer emergency departments, increased knowledge in illness and so on. One of the patients who was actually my 92 year old said, I will, I will be sorry to miss my pal buddy. They kept referring to the machine as their pal, you know, as if there was a person in the house. I'm going to say a few things about concepts, things that concern us as geriatricians about the way technology might move, which may be a bad thing, and the way we should move. That's interested primarily in nursing, and that's interested in patients in the community. So I'm giving you a perspective that's very different. Supported housing, I mean, this is an area that, uh, as I said, we talk an awful lot about it, but it's still quite underdeveloped in this country. So, you know, what are we looking for? We're looking for innovators, early adopters, uh, those with knowledge and expertise. Are passionately interested in partnering industry and providing resources for industry to leverage uh, their particular novel technologies for the betterment of patients. And he, he talks about coming together as a beginning, keeping together as progress, and working together as a success. It is that innovation is economic value added. And I think also there's a question about the focus and is there something unique that we're looking at here? Is it general health? Is it connected health? Is it ageing? Um, is it disease? Is it disability? I'd also like to uh, extend my thanks to the people that have put their faith in actually putting the effort into the presentations, believing in what Andrew and myself are doing and the, the, the type of thing that we're trying to achieve to the different networks that we have and bringing the networks together.